ESPN Radio 1700. Now, live in studio, local and national real estate expert and consumer advocate, Ron Siegel. And hello again. Welcome to Ron Siegel Radio. This is the show with no real boundaries as we discuss current events, financial markets, politics, sports, even poking fun at the rest of the media. This is the show that connects the dots of confusion delivered by conflicting media reports. We connect the dots so you know the actions you can take, how your family, your business can benefit from current events. Most of all, thank you for joining me. Before we get into our intriguing content today, please join me in welcoming our featured guests, Wayne Fortin, Trauma Intervention Program. Welcome. Thank you. Glad to have you with us. Lisa Lewis, Preferred Care and Trauma Intervention Program Volunteer. Welcome. Thank you very much. Glad to have you back with us again. Let me remind you, if you ever have any home or finance related questions, I am the consumer advocate looking out for you. And you can reach out to me directly at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. Just remember, that's the number you call any time for assistance. When you call that number, it comes directly to me first. There are no operators standing by. I am it. Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. Well, I do have a great team when it comes to developing a financing plan or plan to save you money, I personally work with you. Even if you don't have any needs today, save this number in your phone for future reference, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. Well, I sure hope you had a great weekend this weekend. I know I did. Had a very interesting conversation, and I don't do this type of an uh, opening to the program very often. But when something really, really strikes me, I think it's worth sharing. And and had a great time chatting with a, a group of men over the weekend, sitting out there right on the beach in Newport Beach. And all of the, no one was really new in the group. We all knew each other. We've all spent time with each other. But I had an opportunity to really have an in-depth conversation with one of the gentlemen. And if I told you his name, you'd probably look him up and you could see probably one of the most successful actors in Hollywood. And to give you a little idea, he's got 198 acting credits to his name. By contrast, George Clooney has 76. So he's done a little bit of acting in his career. And we were chatting a lot about mindset and growth. And he started this school for actors, but it's actually, because of his resume, he can call it a school for actors, but it's really more. It's really a wellness center, and he teaches people through this wellness center that they call an acting school. And it was very, very enlightening to be able to spend a couple hours, a few hours with him this weekend. And it all had to do with mindset and your thought process and how you go about your daily life. And when we started looking and saying, okay, well, how do you end up with 198 acting credits? He said, Ron, it's all a mindset. Never went into an audition thinking that, am I going to get the part? It's, do I want the part? Do I believe it's the right part for me? Can I bring life to this part? Can I bring value to this part? And being that he's been on the directing side and on the producing side, he can look at it and say he understands what goes on as soon as some a, a audition or some whoever's audit, what do they call it, auditor? I guess they're not an auditor. But the person doing being uh, reviewed walks out, he understands what they're doing. They're talking behind the scenes. Does he write? Does he make the right appearance for the part? Is it believable? Well, we have to think about that. I'm going to tie all this into you as well. I'm going to tie this into me because it has a lot to do with why I get up every single day. I should say Monday through Friday. Very, very early in the morning. Some people are going to sleep. Ironically enough, when I spoke to him, he's going to sleep about an hour after I get up every morning to get ready for a radio broadcast to bring you new and interesting, I believe, interesting information each day. Satisfaction comes from within. Not from without was one of the comments that we spoke about. Are you letting somebody else define what satisfies you? 
Or do you go out each day saying, you know something, I'm going to make a difference, and if John doesn't like it, that's irrelevant to me. It doesn't matter whether John is happy with what I did. The difference is in my heart. And ironically enough that I that we had spent the time over the weekend talking about this because... Boy, when we when I chat with Lisa on a regular basis, a lot of this comes to comes to fruition. Is it you know, you're giving, and it's not a matter of are you solving somebody else's problem. When you're giving, it satisfies what you do. Yeah, you can help somebody else, but it's satisfaction to you. And one of the things that was really a very very telling part of the conversation is you listen to some people sometimes, and they say, "Oh, if only." You ever thought about that? If only. You know, I would go and do X if I won the lottery. If I get the job, I'm going to do Y. When I make it big, boy, am I going to do fill in the blank. Now, here's the problem with that. What if when you win the lottery and you have that money, it doesn't fulfill you? Have you thought about that part of it? Then what do you do? Because you've lived your whole life saying, when I make it big, when I reach this success, when I get to this pinnacle, when I buy that house, boy, then I'm going to then I'm gonna really feel fulfilled. But if you buy that house and you, after a year you say, you know something, that wasn't the house I wanted. Or the money didn't fulfill me. Because I'm going to suggest to you money doesn't fulfill anybody. If I said to you today, here's a million dollars, are you going to take that and stick it on the coffee table and just leave it there? Probably not. Ironically enough, most people who win the lottery are broke within three to four years. Just statistics. Most athletes, professional athletes, make these multi-million dollar contracts. They're broke within five years. Why is it? Because it's money is not fulfilling. You need to find what is fulfilling to you, and then that is what's important. Money might make you more. I end every broadcast with, with a mantra that a friend of mine shared with me, and I just love it. Make a lot of money, help a lot of people, have a lot of fun. Well, why do I put it in that sequence? Well, if you make a lot of money, you can help people if that's what's in your heart, if that's where your satisfaction comes from. The concept here is another one of the concepts, the takeaways. I did not come here to pursue an acting career. I came here to be an actor. Are you in pursuit of something? Or are you already there? Do you Pursuit means that maybe you'll make it, maybe you won't. Maybe you'll get that house, maybe you won't get that house. How about saying, that house is going to be mine. Now let's put the, the plan together to make sure that happens. I say all these things not because of me. Once again, I say these things for your benefit. I got the benefit of it. I heard the stories. I spent the hours with Glenn. I say these for your benefit. I've already got mine. When I say to you, have you taken advantage of the low interest rate environment that we're in? Have you taken advantage of the properties that are available? Have you taken advantage of spending some time with your kids, with your family, with your spouse? Because you don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. So I suggest to you, this is about you, your family, not me. I spend time with my wife on a regular basis. I talk about this frequently. My best friend, not a question. When I say those things, some people look at me and they say, how could you be so public about that? It's because I don't care. I don't say I'm for anybody's benefit but me, but for my wife. So if somebody doesn't like that idea, eh, so what? It doesn't affect my world. I'm going to ask Lisa this later. I'll give you time to think about it. I know the answer. When you go out and try and help a family that is in crisis, right? You're trying to help them, but it fulfills you just as much as it fulfills them. Otherwise, you wouldn't be a volunteer. Think about that when you're thinking about what you should be doing. Giving back to the community. Giving back to society. It's not all about them because here's here's the thing when i give to somebody when i help this young couple buy their first house and maybe we have to give away the barn and i look at my team and i say who cares well they just told a f 10 friends that hey ron gave away the barn to help us get that house and that makes me feel good because they're so excited about getting that when I tell you right now that you can go right online because i've released a couple of new books i do it every quarter 
and they're totally free. I don't need a new house. I've got a house. I've got a very nice house. MBELinks.com forward slash HBG. Home Buyer's Guide. It's free. Go there and grab yours. If you're not driving, you can just text 79564. And just the letters HBG, you'll get that buyer's guide totally free. You want the seller's guide? You're selling a house? Same difference. MBELinks.com forward slash HSG. Or again, you can text HSG to 79564. Get the free books. Why do I give them free? I'm not a real estate agent. I've got a license. I've never bought or sold a house for the benefit of somebody else. It's not what I do. What I like to do is, there's no, no greater joy for me other beyond outside my family than watching some young people get the keys to their first house. That's my passion. That's why I put these books out. That's why I pay for them. I have it done. That's why I'm here every single morning, Monday through Friday or afternoon, depending upon what you're doing. I don't do it for the money. If I, if I didn't share this passion with you, Right now, we're broadcasting live, ESPN AM 1700. This afternoon, the program will be broadcast on NBC 1050. They're going to pay me the exact same thing, whether I share my passion with you or not, but I do it anyway. And I hope that you get something from it. If you don't, hey, let me know. Maybe we'll find something for you. If you do, keep on listening to Ron Siegel Radio discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. When we come back, we're going to talk to Wayne Fortin Trauma Intervention Program. Lisa Lewis is with us. We'll chat about that. You can reach me anytime. Our offer number is 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsiegelradio.com. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Are you a veteran, police officer, firefighter, doctor, nurse, or teacher? If so, you qualify as one of Ron Siegel's VIP heroes, and we have rewards up to $5,000 or $10,000 when you buy, sell, or refinance a home with one of the Ron Siegel Radio Partners. As one of the heroes, real estate agents will rebate part of their commission, lending partners will give a credit at closing, the title company has special published rates, and many other service providers have incentives too. All you need to do is call Ron Siegel Radio at 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit VIPHeroProgram.com. Just think about what you will do with all the rebates and incentives from the the partners of Ron Siegel Radio. Just call us at 800-306-1990 so we can show you our appreciation for your service. Ron Siegel Radio Date Night Trivia presented by Reunion Kitchen and Drink. Friday, Ron will pose a question based on on on-air conversations during the prior seven programs. The person to post the answer according to the guest conversation will win a date night package including a dinner gift card for Reunion Kitchen and Drink. You might even be able to say hi to Ron when you visit Reunion Kitchen and Drink. Udirect IRA Services has helped thousands of Americans invest their IRA outside of the stock market into real estate, land, private notes, and more to improve their financial future. Udirect IRA is a third-party administrator providing complete and accurate information on self-directed IRAs so you can make the most of your retirement funds. Educating individual investors and professionals is the cornerstone of Udirect IRA. We have events right here in Southern California geared towards self-directed investing. We also offer webinars so no matter where you are, you can learn to earn. Did you know that banks and credit bureaus are rewarded financially if you have bad credit? And the worse your credit score is, the more money they can make off of you? How does that make you feel knowing that banks are getting rich off of your hard-earned money? How does it make you feel knowing that if a bank or a credit bureau makes a mistake on your credit report, they benefit from it and it hurts you? The Fair Credit Report Act of 1971 requires banks and credit bureaus to report only accurate information, and nearly 100% of all credit reports are inaccurate. If you're sick and tired of being broke and tired of being robbed by the banks, you owe it to yourself and to your family to call Rondi. Rondi is a FICO certified credit professional and has helped thousands of people just like you get out of debt and establish great credit. Rondi's number is 855-608-1990. Again, that's 855-608-1990. Or visit creditsanitizer.com. Again, that website is creditsanitizer.com. 
You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message, and as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio anytime at 800 306 1990. That's 800 306 1990. The real time real estate segment today brought to you by the VIP Hero Program. I love the VIP Hero Program. Maybe that's why we created it. Yes, I know, I know. We create a lot of different programs, and they're, they're there to help people in various different ways. Just our way of saying thank you. The VIP hero, military, law enforcement, firefighters, healthcare professionals, first responders, teachers. How would you like to get five, maybe $10,000 in rebates when you buy a house? Yeah, well, that's what the VIP hero program is. I've gone out. I'm, I'm, I'm really a pretty lucky guy, I must admit. I go out and I talk to people all the time and I've got a a whole host of real estate people that are willing to give rebates back. I've got the lending company if they want to work with us. If I've never never have a problem with going to a different company if if the partners that we're with are not taking care of you. So here's the issue. We've talked to them and they're going to give you a rebate. Attorneys will give you rebates. They can't give you a rebate from the title company, but they can publish some special rates for the heroes. So think about that one. All of those are just because you are a listener of Ron Siegel Radio. The reasons, the real reasons, I guess I should say, that Americans buy a home. It's amazing how many times we talk about this and amazing how many times people get the top reasons wrong because so many times we think about dollars. And believe it or not, This is just not my study. This is a study from the Joint Center for Housing Studies at Harvard University. Maybe you've heard of that school. Top four reasons to own a home cited by respondents. They were not financial related. The top four were not financial. Number one, it means having a good place to raise children and provide them a good education. Number two, you have a physical structure where you and your family feel safe. Number three, it allows you to have more space for your family. Number four, it gives you control over what you do with your living space, like renovations and updates. And number five, they finally get into finances. Owning a home is a good way to build up wealth that can be passed along to the family. So here's the bottom line, whether you're a first-time home buyer, a move-up buyer who wants to start a new chapter in their life, a right-sizer, that means your kids, maybe if you've moved out and you're looking for something maybe a little smaller, a little bigger, a little different, now's a great time to reflect on the tangible factors that make a house a home. That is the real-time real estate segment again, brought to you by the VIP Hero Program. Obviously, you could tell that over the weekend I spent some time with a great group of folks and got a lot of time for introspection. And it's not something that is the the location and the the participants were a little different this time than some of the other times. I end up chatting quite a bit about our opportunity, how blessed I feel that I am. My, My wife, my wife and I, we've got three great kids, lots of friends. And we're able to go out in the community. I get, a, I get to get up every morning and chat with you. But not everybody has a great day every day. And sometimes you get to wonder, you know, what happens when you've got that tough day? And from a outside looking in, I've watched or, or kind of seen where... There's a group of people that are out there that will are, are on call and really spend an awful lot of time being ready for that tragedy, tragic day that happens way too often. And we're going to chat this morning with two people that know firsthand the, the issues that go on. Wayne Fortin, Trauma Intervention Program. Lisa Lewis is here as a volunteer. Welcome. Thank you. Glad to have you with us. So Thank tell you. me what that, I, we hear the term TIP or Trauma Intervention Program. What is it? What do you do? Essentially, it's a group of well-trained citizen volunteers 
who get called out by police officers, firefighters, nurses, to comfort and support people at really the worst hours of their lives. So when tragedy strikes, police and fire respond. If they see somebody who's emotionally wounded, they'll call one of our volunteers. And I, I've just in my watching from, again, as an outsider, volunteers are very, very highly and intensely trained. They really are. They go through 55 hours of classroom training, a three-month field training period. Um, they go through extensive training because they do very sensitive and important work. So we want them to, to be well-trained and, and effective. And they never know what they're going to find. That's, right? I think, I think that's, that's why the people who can do this are few really, because it takes courage to go to a situation not knowing what you're going to find there. Yeah, it's, you know, I've, I've, I've heard of, you know, when Lisa, when I've been around Lisa, actually we were together when you, probably the worst thing that I've ever heard. I mean, and I, I don't know a whole heck of a lot. I'm the first to admit it. But I think you had recently a, a nine-month-old uh, baby that wasn't breathing, and dad was having an issue, mm -hmm. right? Talk about that one. I mean, that's obviously we don't use names. We're not going to give out any kind of private information. We're not even going to talk about the location. But the situation is what I'm really in, in interested in and, and how a volunteer can make a difference on these horrible days. Well, as a volunteer, we walk into what is the very worst day of that family's life. And we're there for the first few hours until their support system shows up. So we're there, that initial support system because it takes a few hours to get phone calls out for people to rally and show up to be their support, their comfort, um, their comfort zone at that point. Um, and so it really doesn't matter what that tragedy is, we're there to help them through it. And some people are stoic and they don't react a whole lot. Doesn't mean that they're not hurting and they don't need us. They just don't aren't showing it outwardly. In shock. Yes, and then some. Or what a layman like me would call shock. Absolutely. You guys are trained. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't know the right terms. Yeah, and then some people are absolutely overwhelmed with grief and uh, and that's just. I mean that's hard to handle as well for everyone there that's watching it. But we're there to help them, we're there to guide them, we're there to support them, we're there to give them resources on what their next steps will be after they kind of come out of that initial shock and initial grief um, so that they know what's ahead of them. Well, the case that, that I was referencing was pretty interesting in, in the sense that I know when you got the call it was a nine-month old that wasn't breathing mm -hmm. and it progressed to dad might having to go into protective custody in essence not because he did anything wrong but because what do they call it a, a medical hold or something no it, well all they were trying to do was just find resources for dad but the, but the beauty of it was is the after effect that you you shared with us was that once the volunteers were there they were able to calm dad to a point mm -hmm. that you know, it didn't have to be dealt with that way. Right. And that that's a, it's got to be, a, I mean, a great feeling to be able to, I mean, I, I couldn't imagine anything worse in my life than the loss of a child. Right. Right. I mean, there's, there's, I couldn't imagine it. Yes. And, you know, I could imagine exactly what this dad might be going through that, that, you know, rage. You know, how could it happen? Well, you know, what's really interesting is, um, is grief and shock and um, and all of the things that each person feels is very individual. There is n there are no two people that are going to react alike, and their pathway into that grief and their pathway out of it seems to be very unique. Uh, so we don't know how someone will react. We don't know what the outcome will be. We don't know how you know. We just know how we're going to try and guide them through it, no matter what it is. Then that's what we're trained for. Interesting. So, Wayne, why did you start TIP? Well, I was a, a, a counselor working at a mental health center, hearing people come in tell, telling me about their, 
their tragedy, their crisis that occurred in their lives. And almost inevitably, I would hear what we've come to call the second injury. People saying things like, I'm kind of over the death of my husband, but I can't believe how the doctor treated us. Or I can't believe how the police and fire just left us alone. Um, so I saw a need. I saw at the same time I was working with the police and learned that they can't be that comforting shoulder to lean on on emergency scenes. So I saw a gap, a little gap in the emergency system and that is police and fire and ER nurses were unable to comfort those people, those family members after tragedy strikes. They're great at saving the patient, uh, they have to do an investigation. So I saw a problem in the system, and I thought that volunteers would be a good way to solve that problem. I love that concept. We talk about it on Ron Siegel Radio a lot about, and you don't need the government doing these things. It's one man with one vision that says, you know something, there isn't a need, and going out and working towards solving that. And we're going to talk more about that when we come back. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio, discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. More about the trauma intervention program tip when we come back, we're going to also talk about how in the world you go from a $26 meal to a $5,400 bill. I don't know how that works. We'll find out, though. You can reach me anytime. Call or offer your number, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsegalradio.com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash Radio on Twitter, at Ron Siegel. I periscope there, too. If you understand what that means, I don't. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Are you currently renting a home? Do you like paying someone else's mortgage payment? Why not explore the options to purchase your own home? Can you imagine a 30-year fixed rate loan below 4.25% APR? This means with $10,500, you can purchase a $295,000 home and have a principal and interest payment of about $1,400 per month. What are you paying in rent? Does your family deserve the opportunity to take advantage of the current market? To learn more about these exciting opportunities, the Seagull Lending team is standing by to speak with you. Call now, 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Or 1-800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal housing lender. Not endorsed or sponsored by any government agency. Are you a veteran? Own a home and need money? The Siegel Lending Team is here to help veterans refinance and get the money they need. The VA 100 lets you borrow up to 100% of your home's value, refinance your mortgages, consolidate credit cards, and lower your payments by an average of $700 a month. And the Siegel Lending Team knows that character means more than a credit score. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Corporations, NMLS 21037, and DRE number 01869452. Southern California attorneys have over 15,000 real estate agents to call in Orange County for their personal and professional needs. Why do they overwhelmingly call Melinda Johnson? Simple. It's the Melinda Johnson trifecta. Melinda is an attorney, real estate broker, and realtor. Does your family deserve the same professional services California lawyers demand? Call Melinda Johnson at 714-863-5485. That's 714-863-5485. Or on the web at freedomfirstproperties.com. Are you purchasing or own a luxury home? If you're like so many others, your home is your largest asset and the mortgage is your largest debt. The Siegel Lending Team has some amazing financing opportunities right now. Jumbo loans up to $2 million, 30-year rates below 4%, 15-year rates near 3 and a half. And if you can believe it, seven-year interest only hybrids in low threes. The Siegel Lending Team has all the options for your jumbo or second home loan requirements. Take advantage of them while you can. To learn more about all the other financing products available from the Siegel Lending Team, call 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Again, call 1-800-306-1990. Rates subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal housing lender. 
You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message. And as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio. Or any time at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. Your Credit Matters segment today brought to you by CreditSanitizer.com. You have a credit report. It is wrong. We know it's wrong because they're all wrong. I haven't seen one that's accurate. I've been looking at credit reports since the 90s. I've not yet seen an accurate, a completely accurate credit report. That's way too many years for me to count, way too many reports for me to count. Uh, But be careful. It could cost you a lot of money. Creditsanitizer.com. Can you get a loan to buy a new computer? Well, the answer to the question is yes. The next question becomes, do you want one? Think about this. I I saw this recently. Now, eh, what the heck, I'm going to use the name because they must be proud of what they're doing. Dell Computer. You can actually buy a $800 desktop Dell Computer and you can get a payment option of as low as $24 a month. Okay, that sounds reasonable, right? Now let's look at the documentation that will come out from Dell. $24 $24 a month means that $800 will take nine years to pay off and is going to ultimately cost $2,170 for the $800 computer. Just look at their documentation. They're charging 29.99% interest. 29.99% interest. Another example, $3,000 PC with $90 monthly payment would take 30 years to pay off and cost $14,734. Pay a little extra each month. Just $50 more in that $3,000 PC will cost $4,886 and be paid off in five years. Now think about this, even that, five years. Do you know of a PC that's going to last five years? Now, maybe they'll last that long, but they're going to certainly be outdated. Probably might not work on a whole heck of a lot of things. <sighs> save the money ahead of time. Wouldn't that make a lot more sense to you to save $100 a month for eight months and go buy that computer? $100 a month. Let's see. That would be like... Um, What's that, about a $5 a day Starbucks habit if it's just weekdays? Think about that. Give up the Starbucks. Nothing against Starbucks, but if you need a computer, think about doing it that way. It makes a little bit more sense. That is the Your Credit Matters segment. Again, brought to you by CreditSanitizer.com. We're going to continue our conversation with Wayne Fortin, Trauma Intervention Program. Lisa Lewis, she's a volunteer with TIP, also with Preferred Care. And we were before the break, we were chatting a bit about finding a problem and just going out and solving. And I love how I love it when people in our society don't look for this entitlement world. You know, you saw Wayne that problem where the Uh, first responders, the police and fire and paramedics and emergency room, great people. They're doing a heck of a job. But they can only do so much. They can only be in so many places. And the families, you you don't want to take a catastrophe and compound it, right? Exactly. Exactly. And, you know, you, you have whatever that issue is, a car accident, a, a biking accident, a, what, a pool. You know, now it, right now it's so hot outside. I would hate to see how many pool accidents start mm-hmm. coming up. We, what, all we have to do is watch the news. Exactly. And the first responders get there. They, they've got their job as the, the victim. Exactly. Somebody needs to be there to take care of the, the rest of the family so you don't have two victims. Perfectly said. Perfectly said. Uh, and 
The response system just loves this program. Police and fire, they have big hearts or they wouldn't have become... Sure, they're not doing it for the e money. Exactly. So uh, when a, a, a volunteer like Lisa shows up, it really reduces their stress, allows them to focus on their job, allows them to leave the scene feeling like this family is being taken care of. So they become huge supporters, police, fire, and nurses. They just love these tip volunteers. I would imagine, I mean, the, the I don't know that a lot of people really understand, as far as the general population, that the tip volunteers are even there. No, and I think, I think the reason for that, Ron, is people are very aware of the Red Cross, the Salvation Army, because they they're there during what I call the big ones, right. the hurricanes, the floods, the air crashes. But in fact, most tragedy happens behind closed doors at 2 in the morning, quietly, to individuals. Sure. And it doesn't make the evening news, but it happens every day. Tip is there. Lisa and our volunteers are there for what I call the daily disasters in people's lives. So it's quiet, behind the scenes but very necessary. I like to say when Mrs. Smith's husband of 50 years dies in the middle of the night, that's her 9-11. Sure. And somebody should be there with her. And that's where we come in. Well, that's an interesting point that you made there because it's not always going to be an accident, right? I mean, just the day-to-day -day living, right? I mean, Mrs. Smith's husband might have been suffering from cancer or heart disease right. or something. And when her husband passes, that's... That's huge for her. That's her. Huge. Exactly. You know, we watch the, the evening news and see the Katrinas and the Hurricane Sandys or the 9-11, God mm -hmm. forbid. You know, those those are the big things. But, you know, and I, I don't want to sound callous right here, but those are big things to somebody else. Mm -hmm. The big thing in my house is the big thing. Exactly. Right? E exactly. So that's what we respond mm -hmm. to, the the drowning, the death of Mr. Smith, who I just mentioned. Again, it's quiet, but devastating for the people involved. So what is the commitment that a TIP volunteer needs to make? Well, I'll start, and Lisa's made the commitment, so she could add, I guess. It's essentially, we ask volunteers to be on call for three 12-hour shifts a month, and to come to a mandatory monthly meeting. And if you add all that up, it's about 500 hours a year, which is like 10, 40-hour work weeks. It's a huge amount of time Absolutely. that our volunteers put in. But, but as importantly, it's the emotional commitment, meaning your willingness to put yourself with somebody who's devastated. That's not easy. It requires picking up some of the pain. So that's a big commitment, too. So let me ask you the flip side of this. And I, I've never even asked this of Lisa before. And obviously, Lisa and I have been friends for many, many years. Um, I can say that because I'm old. She's not. But is there a support system needed for the TIP volunteer? I mean, they're seeing some things that the average individual never sees, doesn't want to see, and doesn't want to acknowledge. Yes, yes. And we work that into our program. After every call, uh, the volunteer who's been out needs to call our manager to debrief. So that's part of it. At our monthly meeting, we call share. So yes, that's built in. But Ron, I've been surprised over the years at how volunteers can go into these situations and come out unscathed for the most part. Wow. And I think the reason for that, and I don't know what Lisa thinks, is they leave the call feeling like they've really made a difference. And I think that trumps anything else that has gone out there. So I think for the most part, volunteers leave feeling like, wow, that wasn't my tragedy, but I was sure able to help. Is Absolutely. that your experience? Yes. And that that it's not my tragedy is what it is. I go in there for a few hours. It isn't my tragedy. I wake up the next morning, go on with my life. The next morning, that family wakes up. That is their life. So, um, and well, I. You've still seen something that mm -hmm. many of us don't see. I mean, they. they I, I was chatting. Well, we've chatted, Lisa, with some police officers and and military people, mm -hmm. and the comment is: is you want this done, but you don't want to know about it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. You got, you're as tip. You're kind of in the same scenario. We want somebody to take care of the families, but boy, I didn't want to know about what they saw. Yeah, 
I, I think our volunteers um, come out of these situations changed. They say that they've learned, they've made a difference, but for the most part, Ron, they don't come out devastated themselves. It's it's very interesting because you yeah. you would think that they would be absolutely. Right. That that was my that was my thought is that. You know, I, I've got a queasy. I'll be first to say this. I've got a very, very queasy stomach. It was beautiful seeing my son, um, my son born. But my wife said, "You better put a chair behind him because he's going to fall over." <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. so you know, you're talking about some things, and, and I can understand that's you know that's more personal because it's mine, right? As opposed to the volunteers going right. out to somebody else. But you know, like I said in the opening segment today, you know, it's it's about. In Lisa's case, it's about Lisa. I mean, she's going out there and she's doing great. And I believe that what happens is when somebody like Lisa goes out and does great things, or like you, Wayne, when you've started an organization like this to do great things, that hopefully you never need it, but some other way that gets repaid to you. You know, maybe not financially, maybe not, but maybe emotionally or whatever it is. But those things get repaid. And I want to chat about that when we come back. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio. Discussing your real estate current events and the financial markets. Our featured home will be part of our discussion when we come back. A $26 meal that costs $5,475 on the credit card bill. We're going to talk about all of that and more. You can reach me anytime. Our off-air number is 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990 or com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash Ron Siegel Radio on Twitter at Ron Siegel. Stay tuned. We will be back in just a few. Do you have a goal of mortgage-free home ownership? What if your home was valued at $500,000? Are you aware that a free and clear home could be costing you $2,500 every month, $30,000 per year? The mortgage planners at the Siegel Lending Team would like to show you how you can own your home, generate tax-free income, and accumulate family wealth. You simply need to call Ron Siegel at 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. By sending the team a copy of your most recent mortgage statement, team will send you a no-obligation mortgage adoption plan. You be the judge if it's right for your family. Again, all you have to do is send the team a copy of your mortgage statement by email to map at ronsiegelradio.com or call today, Ron Siegel, 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Corporation and MLS 217037 and BKLBRE number 01869452. Do you have a loved one who wants to stay in their home but you have health concerns about it? The Preferred Care Team understands the challenges of caring for your loved ones. Their goal is to keep seniors as independent as possible while maintaining their health, safety, and overall well-being. Whether you need just a few hours a week or 24-hour care, Preferred Care caregivers are trained to meet your needs. Call Preferred Care at 714-696-9150. That's 714-696-9150. Or visit PreferredCare.com. Attention homeowner 62 and older. Do you worry if you can afford to keep your home? Are you concerned about paying all your monthly expenses? Or do you simply wish you could live a better retirement? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you may qualify for a program that can help. It's called FHA Reverse Mortgage. It's insured by the federal government. You'll receive tax-free money. You aren't required to make any monthly mortgage payments, and you still own your home. Siegel Lending Team is a local leader in FHA Reverse Mortgages. Call free to get your free reverse mortgage guide, free custom quote. And when you call now, you can get all your questions answered by local experts. There is no monthly mortgage payment and tax-free money you can use for health care expenses, home improvements, or just live a better retirement with peace of mind. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-1990 to get your free reverse mortgage guide and quote. You'll also find them on the web at SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Call 800-306-1990 now. Are you a veteran, own a home, and need money? The Siegel Lending Team is here to help veterans refinance and get the money they need. The VA 100 lets you borrow up to 100% of your home's value, refinance your mortgages, consolidate credit cards, and lower your payments by an average 
average of $700 a month. And the Siegel Lending Team knows that character means more than a credit score. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Corporations. NMLS 21037 and DRE number 01869452. Don't stand for hemorrhoids. Get relief with the power of two from Preparation H. First, use fast-acting Preparation H medicated wipes. Then, longer-lasting maximum strength cream. Use as directed. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message, and as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. What do we have going on now? we got to do the Word on Wealth segment brought to you by Commerce for a Cause, another one of those great organizations that I love to promote. Do you have a business? Do you take credit cards? If so, you're probably paying a fee for that credit card processing service. Let's think about this one. What if you could get somebody to match your credit card processing fee and then give 20% rebate to the cause of your choice or the causes of your choice. Think about that concept, giving it away, giving it back. I like the idea, and it doesn't cost you anything out of pocket. That's Commerce for a Cause. Great organization. If you want me to put you in touch with them, just let me know. I'd be happy to. So how in the world would this happen? $26 meal turns into $5,475 on the bill. Have you ever seen that when you go to a restaurant and you put in a tip on the very bottom of the bill and you wonder about, does it get transmitted properly? Well, here's the interesting story here, and it's probably not a whole lot of fun for somebody. But it was a $26.47 was the bill. The employee apparently put their ID number in the tip amount instead of the tip that was being left. Talk about a little bit of a surprise there, right? I mean, a $26 meal and getting seeing your credit card back. Must have had a nice high balance. Of course, it was in the Washington, D.C. area. So it's on, probably on somebody's expense account, probably yours. It's probably some sort of a government employee, although they may not have checked the bill if it was them. Uh, be sure, speaking of checking the bill, you got to do that all the time. I've heard two people in the last week now that got these fancy new credit cards with the chip built into them. Both of them had their credit cards fraudulently copied. Both of them. Two in the last week. Now, no, I don't take credit cards, so it wasn't me. But the bottom line is these cards that are supposed to be safe be really careful with them. They're not so safe. Of course, the man that invented that magnetic strip on the back of your credit card, he told you this was going to happen when he was on Ron Siegel Radio. He's also shared why that old-fashioned magnetic strip will never be duplicated like these are. Got to go back and listen to the archives if you didn't catch that one. That's the Word on Wealth segment again, brought to you by Commerce for a Cause. We've also got a featured home to chat about today. I'm going to share that information with you right now. Crystal Lombardi sent that over to us. 11125 Crater Drive in San Diego. Three bedrooms, two full bathrooms, $499,000. Yeah, you can do that with the FHA loan. Might even have a payment under $2,300 principal and interest. Don't forget about the taxes, insurance, HOAs, and mortgage insurance. There's a lot of different financing options for it. If you want the details, text 11125 to 79564. But don't do it if you're driving, please. It's illegal to do it then. And I don't want you to get hurt. I want you to come back here and listen to us tomorrow. That is the Featured Home, again, brought to you by Crystal Lombardi. Continuing on with our conversation this morning, we are talking to, or talking with, Wayne Fortin, Trauma Intervention Program. Lisa Lewis is in the house chatting. She's a tip volunteer. We've been having a great conversation. A lot of, we covered a lot of grounds today about the being on the scenes, the police, the fire, how they really appreciate what TIP is doing, how long it takes to get trained. It's not just some Joe 
or Jane that's going to show up on the doorstep when there is an emergency. They've got some serious training. Think of, I think about this. It's, I mean, it's got to be a really a unique individual, Wayne, that can do this. When you talk about a 500-hour commitment, you know, we don't get that much vacation time to, to get trained for that. <laughs> Very unique individual. Um, we've tried to figure out a tip volunteer profile and haven't been able to. These are what I would call ordinary people doing extraordinary work. It is extraordinary. It's extraordinary work. So um, the qualities of tip vol- all tip volunteers need to have, of course, are compassion. I mean, that's sure. what that's the basic. care about people. Exactly, exactly. And combined with courage. As we talked about before, getting into your car at 2 a.m., driving to a location where devastation has just occurred and not knowing what these people are going to need. That's my definition of courage. Wow, Um, yeah. So that balance, some of us have a lot of courage, but maybe light on the compassion. Sure. Others of us have great compassion, maybe a little light on the courage. So you need people with an equal measure of both. And and like most nonprofits that I've um, chatted with, it's people wanting to give back that, that, that have a sense of, hey, you know something, I'm I'm blessed in some way, you know maybe they're blessed financially, maybe they're blessed in a um, family life, maybe they've been abundance, whatever. But now this is and it's kind of like what I talked about before, where you started this organization and made, and hopefully you'll never need a volunteer. But some other way, Mm -hmm. you get your satisfaction. Yes, I I get satisfaction, although, you know, I'm human like everybody else, and uh, we're all subject to tragedy. Sure. (laughs) I know, and our volunteers are not infrequently on the other side of this equation. You know, we all, at some point, uh, bad things happen to good people, and, and we're all subject because... There's no appointments. It, 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 there's no appointments. It, right? I mean, it, it, exactly. You just don't know. You, you don't know, Ron. You, um, and I think that's what makes it so difficult for people who we help. They weren't expecting it this sure. afternoon. They Therefore, they don't have a plan. And really, people don't. You know, we have financial plans. Sure. We have, you know, vacation plans, but nobody has a tragedy plan. So when it happens, people really need a, a tip volunteer, somebody like Lisa, to walk them through it. How does one find out about, how did, you know, you've got the catastrophe. How does, how do you put the catastrophe and the volunteer together? How do they come come together? Only police, fire, hospital personnel can call. Oh, okay. So somebody from the general public can't pick up the phone. A police officer, firefighter, picks up, calls their dispatcher, who calls our dispatcher, and that's how they come together. And are there TIP programs in every community? Oh, no. Um, We serve about 200 cities in the country. Big program in San Diego, Orange County, um, Portland, Maine. Las Vegas, but there are many, many communities that just don't have this service. Um, it's hard to kind of pull all the pieces together in a community. Sure, I mean, because when you started talking about needing, you know, we talked earlier, probably maybe my mouth got too big, but talk about needing a dispatcher, mm-hmm. right? I mean, because the police officers or the firefighters, they're not going to know to call volunteer ABC. They've got to call a dispatch number, so someone's got to man that. One number gets them to our dispatcher. We know if a police officer had to scramble around and go to a phone to call, it wouldn't work. Sure. They just pick up their radio, call their dispatcher, who calls our dispatcher. Interesting. How do we help? How can we as a, as a listener, you know, I, I, I just don't have the hours to, mm-hmm. co- to volunteer myself. Sure. But as well, a community, how do we help? A community, um, we, need, we need funding, of course, like any nonprofit, to train and support our volunteers. So we have a dinner that's coming up in, on uh, November 5th in Anaheim called nice. the Heroes with Heart Dinner. Um, we also have a program called Ado- Adopt a Volunteer. <laughs> program. So we recognize that not many people can do this themselves, but people can become part of the volunteer support team by adopting a volunteer. And what does that entail? What does it mean to, to adopt a volunteer? Funding a volunteer for a year costs a hundred dollars. Wow. So it's that, easy. That, that right, I think so. 
So especially for the services that they do, I e- mean, exactly. it's, there's a whole lot of service that goes in. Exactly. So if you want to support our program, you can support a volunteer for a year for a hundred dollars. Do you have somebody that can put the a link to that on Ron Siegel Radio on Facebook so we can yes, get there? Yes, we will. Great. We will. Yeah, I'd love to have be able to do that. Heroes with a Heroes with a Heart. It's at the Anaheim Hilton, November fifth, six p.m. Still, do you have any any sponsorships available? Well, we have a couple, but we're looking for more. Okay. You know, we're hopefully we'll get sponsors who want to help us honor police and fire. I mean, that's the essence of that night. So if you're a a company or a group that wants to show its support for our police officers and firefighters, that would be a good place to sponsor. And I, I'm, so that I'm assuming, being that this is Heroes with a Heart in Anaheim, is there a Heroes with a Heart program in San Diego as well? There is. I'm not familiar with all the sure. details, but people can call us. Absolutely. Or, Maybe we can get somebody to put that one on. Uh, are they are they around the same time frame of the year? I mean, I know yes, we don't have in the details. fall. It's in always the in the fall. fall. Okay. Yeah. So maybe we can get somebody to put that one on our on the uh, Facebook page as well, because sure. obviously we're down here in beautiful San Diego. We're going to broadcast mm-hmm. this afternoon. Actually, we're live streaming right now. Ron Siegel Radio TV. So we're we're worldwide. Yeah. So even when you've got Heroes for a Heart in Maine, maybe somebody in Maine is watching us right sure. now. C- can I give our national website? Absolutely, or? please do. It's www.tipnational.org. Beautiful. And the Orange County website is www.tiporangecounty.org. Sounds like there's a theme in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Great information. We're going to put all of that, de- all those details right there. Facebook.com forward slash Ron Siegel Radio. It makes it nice and easy for you to find it. Be sure to set that first radio preset button to come back here. Every day where we only speak about items affecting your house and your bank account. Thanks to all of our sponsors. A very big thanks to Steve who's engineering us today and every day. And of course, a special thanks to you for spending a little bit of your day with us. That's all for Ron Siegel Radio. Again, if you have any questions, call me anytime, 800 800- 306-1990-800-306-1990 or ronsegalradio.com and remember make a lot of money help a lot of people have a lot of fun have a great day we will talk to you next time on Ron Siegel Radio